Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. May 18th, 1997. The Toronto Blue Jays and Cleveland Indians are finishing up their three-game set before Toronto gets a day off. So let's simulate the rest of the games today. Boo! <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a score. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? So we got five to one for the Cubs over the Giants, four nothing for the Reds over the Padres. A relatively eventful game between the Dodgers and Expos, with the Dodgers coming out on top, four to three. Uh, six to two for the uh, Rockies over the Mets. Uh, yeah, relatively uh, eventful game between the Astros and Phillies, a five to three score there. The Astros over the Phillies. Uh, another eventful game, six to four for the Brewers over the Angels. 13 to 2 for the Red Sox over the Twins. 5 to 4 for the Mariners over the Orioles. And 10 to 9 for the Rangers over the Yankees. That's a That was a game. <laughs> and then of course there's the uh, one and two other one and two run games of the day, so yeah. All right. Cleveland Indians at Toronto Blue Jays. the Indian, the center fielder, number 17. Nice to hear the announcer's got his name or his uh, voice back, so let's go up. Pitch speed to all-star. Uh, bullpen. We've got Juan Guzman versus Hershizer. He's our righty. Alrighty. And for the light up. In batting order, we have Otis Nixon in center field, Sean Green in left field, Joe Carter at first base, Carlos Delgado as designated hitter, Ed Sprague at third base, Carlos Garcia at second base, Benito Santiago behind the plate, Robert Perez in right field, and Alex Gonzalez at shortstop. Let's play ball. All right. Grissom's up for the Indians. Guzman's on the mound. Uh, let's go with a fast slider up and in. Start things off. Round ball. Ooh, in the right field. Base hit. Next up, for the Indians, the shortstop, number 13. Uh, let's go with a fast slider. Up and away. Got to remember to keep my eye on the runner. Let's go with a slow slider. Down and away. Ball, throws to second, throws to first, not in time. Now better for the Indian, the first baby, number 25. Let's go with a fast change up down the middle. Let's go with a slow change up down and away. Let's try a medium fastball up and in. Ground ball. It's going for the easy out at first. Run around second. Probably could have gotten a double play that time, but. Alright, let's go with a fast change up, down and away. Another medium fastball, low in the strike zone. Ball one. Let's try a slow fastball, down and in. And foul. And let's go with a fast slider, up and in. It's a routine grounder. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. It's a routine grounder. Out. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Out. 
Fly ball to right center field. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Now that for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. Whoa. Goodbye. Now that is the designated hitter. Number 25. Home run number 19 for Joe Carter, 417 feet. Swing and a miss, strike one. <laughs> Let's go with a medium fastball down the middle to David Justice. Ground ball, throws the first, one away. Next up, for the Indians, the right fielder, number 24. Uh, let's, go with the, uh, let's go with a fast slider over the plate. He cranked that one. <laughs> Manny Ramirez! Next up, the designated hitter, number 44. Home run number 17 for Manny Ramirez, 441 feet. Uh, let's go with a, uh, with a fast change up on the outside part of the plates. Line drive to second baseman, two out. Next up, for the Indians, the second baseman, number 20. Three. Let's go with a slow fastball down the middle. Let's go with a medium fastball down and in. Let's try a slow slider up and in. Ground ball down the third base line. Throws the first for the third out. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. That could go. And, goodbye. and a line drive into the first row. <laughs> first deck. <laughs> number 13. Uh, home run number 29 for Ed Sprague, 426 feet. It's turning into a batter's game. Carlos <laughs> Garcia, ground ball into left field. <coughs> Pardon me. Base hit. Next up for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Yeah, all their runs have been solo shots, home runs. <laughs> And the runner. Ooh, strike three called. Save it second though. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17. Robert Perez. I didn't know whether to go or not. <laughs> uh, made it to third. Runners on the corners. Next up for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Round ball back to the pitcher. Throws to second. Throws to first. Not in time. Next up for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Two outs, runners on the corners. Round ball to the shortstop. Beats the throw to first. Run the scores. 
for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. First run scored, that was not a home run. <laughs> a routine fly to the outfield. National League hit leaguer hit five home runs in one day. Kingman? Uh, <laughs> Hank Aaron was a uh, is that what you call a hit a red herring? But uh, all right, let's go. Let's throw the heat on the outside part of the plate. A slow fastball down and in. Ground ball in the left field, base hit. Now batting for the Indians, the center fielder, number 17. Uh, let's go with a medium slider on the inside part of the plate. Let's go with a slow slider inside. Let's see if it breaks far enough to go. Hey, it did. First rake. All right, and uh, let's stick with the uh, throw the heat high and in. A routine fly to the outfield. Oh. And the runner stays at first. Now that for the Indians, the shortstop, number thirteen. A fast change up on the inside part of the plate. Throw the ball, throws the second, throws the first. Got him. Double play. Joe Carter. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Now that is. The designated hitter, number 25. Ooh. Uh, I had high hopes for that one. Same pitch. <laughs> Got that one by me. In the left field, base hits all the way to the wall. Ready first to second. Can we make it three? Ooh, it's gonna be close. Slides in a third. He's safe for a triple. Now that for the Blue Jays, the third base number thirty-three. Uh, it's <laughs> used to have problems with splitters. Now we have problems with change-ups. Okay. I actually made contact with that one. <laughs> A Oops, so back to third. Let's see if we can tag up and head home. Ah, uh, no, no, no. For the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 13. That's foul. Foul ball. It's a routine grounder. We got it! Now that is for the Indians. The first baseman. Number All right, what I pitched to him last time that he took out of the park. I think it was high and inside. Okay, I think that's what it was. Let's go with a medium change up down and away. Um, let's go with a medium slider over the plate. All one. With a slow fastball down and in. Fly to the outfield. 
Now batting for the Indians, the third paper, number nine. Let's go with a medium changeup on the outside part of the plate. I fly a ball. Fly to the outfield. Oh. Now batting for the Indians, the left fielder, number 33. Go with a fast slider down and away. In the right field. Next up for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Ooh, just clip the strike zone there, strike one. Well placed fastball. Ooh. Gets past the shortstop into left field. Where is everybody? Wow, the shortstop even now almost had to go all the way up to get it. Next up for the Blue Jays. Runner on second. Fielder, number 17. Next up is Robert Perez. May not be a bad idea to try and bunt here. But then again, the runner's trying to go to third, and I'm trying to go to first, so that might backfire big time. Ooh. So we're going to miss strike three. Next up for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Uh, late swing. Fly ball in the right field. Runner staying at second. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the center Perfect. fielder, number two. Well placed changeup for strike one. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Out at first. Next up for the Indian, the right fielder, number 24. All right, uh, let's go with a slow fastball down and in. Let's go with a medium changeup down and away. Uh, let's try a slow slider. Low in the strike zone. Uh, let's try blowing the heat by him up and away. Cranks it in the center field. Not enough though. Now that the designated hitter, number 44. Go with a slow slider over the plate. All one. Let's go with a slow fastball up and away. Let's try a fast slider up it in. Third baseman throws the first. Two out. Now that for the Indians. The second favorite, number 23. Uh, let's go with a medium fastball down and away. Let's try a slow change up down and in. Let's try throwing the heat up and in. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. That could go! 
Driven deep in the left field by Sean Green. Oh, caught at the wall. Robbed of a home run. Now better. The first baseman. Number 29. I guess technically that wasn't robbed, but part of me thinks if the uh, left fielder wasn't at that specific part of the wall, <laughs> he wouldn't have caught it and it probably would have gone over. Judging from where the uh, cursor was uh, indicating, but uh, oh. good effort by the left fielder anyway. Runner on first. Grounder. And double play. To end the now inning. For the Indians, the catcher, number 15. Let's go with a slow fastball on the inside part of the plate. Let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. And foul. And let's try a uh, slow slider inside. And it looked like it was going to break into the strike zone, but he got out of it. Out at first. Next up, for the Indians, the center fielder, number 17. Let's go with a medium slider up and in. Ball one. A slow slider in up and inside. <laughs> That's got to be terrifying. Slow fastball up and in. Seeing that thing come at you, and then all of a sudden it just breaks all the way into the strike zone. Yeah. Base it to left field. Now bat it for the Indian. The shortstop, number thirteen. Um, let's go with a fast slider over the plate. Runner's gone, throws to second. Tagged at second. Um, let's go with a medium slider. Move in the strike zone. Ball two. Let's go with a medium changeup down and in. With a slow fastball down and away. And throw the heat up and in. Next up for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. How's Juan doing? Still got lots left. All right, just past the oh, he's past the halfway point to where I'd pull him, but still, he's got a, he's got a ways to go. <clears throat> Pardon me. Foul ball. Deep to center field. Out. And he flies out to the outfield. Now batter for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 13. There's bunt on base. And he beats the third. Didn't even bother throwing it. Now Runner in first. For the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Send him a second. It's a high fly ball. Deep to right. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the left fielder. 
Number 17. I was wondering if the uh, announcer was going to be able to get that entire sentence out, but yeah. Wow, that, are, that thing ever motor. Anyways, 21 home runs for Benito Santiago, 408 feet. I would have loved to see the speed on that thing. Actually, I could probably calculate it. Distance from home... Well, the approximate speed, I guess. From home plate to the right field uh, corner at the, at the uh, Sky Dome. Or Rogers Center, for those that don't know what that is. And calculate how much time it took it to travel that distance. <laughs> Ooh, a high change up for strike three. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Gotta admit, that's probably my favorite uh, uh, cartoon, if you will. <laughs> the umpire just tapping on the better. You're out! <laughs> uh, One and two. Ooh, swing and miss. Strike three to Alex Gonzalez. Next up for the Indians, the first baseman, number twenty-five. Throw the heat down the middle. Uh, let's go with a medium slider down and away. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Next up for the Indians, the third paper, number nine. Let's go with a fast slider over the plate. Brown ball. Out. Out at first. Now batting <clears throat> for the Indians, the left fielder, number 33. Let's go with a slow slider down and away. Can we get it? Ooh, got it. Probably didn't need a dive, but we got it. Now <laughs> batting for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number 2. I think he would have caught it anyway, just based on the arc of the, uh, the ball. One and one to Otis Nixon. Shortstop out at first. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. That okay. <laughs> Uh. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. Round ball down our first base line, grabbed by Jim Tomey. Jim Tomey is the first baseman, right? Now batting for the Indians, the right fielder, number I think he is. Uh, yep, yeah. okay. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oop, pardon me. Didn't expect a burp out of that, but... <laughs> slow fastball down and in. 
And not quite. Sean Green runs it down. The designated hitter. Number 44. Let's go with a nice sweet one. Let's go with a medium slider up in the strike zone. Let's go with a slow fastball up and away. That's foul. Let's try a fast changeup up and away. Ground ball is short. Throw it out at first. Two outs. For the Indian, the second paper, number 23. And let's go with a fast slider over the plate. Ooh. Next up, the designated hitter, number 25. What is Juan doing? Wow, he's still got quite a ways to go. <clears throat> Who's up next? I didn't think I don't think I paid attention to who I just got out, but uh, I think they're coming up to their top of their lineup. So yeah, I think I'll you know I'll warm up. For the Indian, number fifty-five. Oh, brought in a new pitcher. All right, let's warm up, Grizzly. And let's go, Carlos Delgado. Versus Lopez. All right. Pulls it in a right center field, all the way to the wall. Ooh, can we make it a second? Slides in. Oh, tagged, getting up. Next up. For the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. Used Lopez for a reliever. He's got stats reminiscent of a starter. <laughs> Seven wins, two losses. <laughs> uh. That Next sounds to me like the, uh, the, Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 13. The office, offense hasn't really uh, been doing much for the, uh, the starters whenever he comes in. <clears throat> Pardon me. In the right center field, base hits, rounding first, all the way to second, safe at second. Next up for the Blue Jays, <clears throat> the catcher, me. number 18. Benito Santiago. Fly ball to right center field and just keep going. No, not gonna. I already had him taken up. Next up for the Indians, the catcher, number 15. Uh, yeah, Risley's ready, but let's see if we can get Guzman the entire game. All right, let's go with the uh, let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. So yeah, Sandy Alomar's up. So yeah, they're just coming up to the top of this, their order. Let's go with a slow fastball down and in. And foul. Hmm. Let's go with a fast slider up and in. In the shallow center field, base hit. Now batting for the Indian, the center fielder, number 17. Don't want to risk this. First batter in the lineup is usually the best for getting base hits. Don't play shallow, normal. Let's bring in the fielders. Shallow. And keep it 
straight away. Infield double play, shift. I want to guard the lines. No, I think we should be fine with normal. Alright, let's see if we can work ourselves into a double play here. Let's go with the uh, slow slider, down and in. Uh, let's go with the uh, medium fastball, down and away. Let's go with the fast change up, up and in. Ooh, just missed ball one. Let's try a slow slider up and in. Alrighty. Now that for the Indian. Oh Arvis Kyle. Number 13. I know he's fairly high in something in the uh let's get the outfielders normal for this guy. Keep get double play and normal. There we go. I know he's high in the league leader standings. For something, I just can't remember what. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's go medium fastball on the outside part of the plate. Ground ball to first. Throws the second. Back to first. Oh! I hope that wasn't because the first baseman got in the way and <laughs> cut it off. Oh boy. It just got interesting. Jim told me. Uh, let's go high in the strike zone with a slow slider. I was expecting that to break into a ball. All right, let's go with a uh, slow fastball down the middle. Ooh, that's down the right field line. Ooh, into the corner. Oh no, missed the ball. Throwing home, staying at third. All right, that's a double for Jim Tomey. Next up for the Indians. This could get interesting, viewers. Number nine. Might actually have to bring or bring in Crabtree if they score any runs. Uh, let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. Let's go with a slow change up down and away. Let's try and blow it by him up and in. Throw in the heat. Oh, and he bunts it. Of course he would. Tagged at the first, though, for the third out. Whoo. That almost turned into a nail-biter. Nail well, it was starting to turn into one, but yeah. Alrighty. For the Cleveland Indians, one run on eight hits, one error. Solo home run by Manny Ramirez. Manny Ramirez went one for three. Sandy Alomar went two for three. Grissman... Vizquel went two for four. Jim Tomey, the only other hit. For pitching, Hershiser went seven innings, struck out four, walked zero, three home run, gave up three home runs and five earned runs. Lopez, one inning pitched. Zero strikeout, zero walks, zero earned runs, zero home runs. Mm, pardon me. Hershiser gets the loss. Her record is now four and four. For the Blue Jays, five runs on 11 hits, zero errors. Stolen base for Carlos Garcia. Home runs by Joe Carter, Ed Sprague, and Benito Santiago. <coughs> Pardon me. Carlos Garcia went three for four. Joe Carter and Carlos Delgado went two for four. Sean Green and Alice Gonzalez, the only Jays that did not record a hit. And pitching, Juan Guzman went nine innings, struck out three, walked zero, gave up one home run, one earned run. Record improves to 11 and 0. Ah, the league leaders. Okay, so Vizquel and Justice both, oh, they're tied for the batting average right now, 351. Uh, but yeah, the leaders are Otis Nixon, Ed Sprague, and Carlos. Delgado, 445, 424, and 410. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. 16 stolen bases for Otis Nixon, 9 for Ellis Gonzalez, 8 for Carlos Garcia. Omar Vizquel, 
is up there with stolen bases as well. The six tied with Robert Perez. Delgado, Sprague, McGuire, slugging percentage. Manny Ramirez right behind them. Nixon, Sprague, Jefferson for on base percentage. Yep, Omar Visco, second in singles with 58. He's got 13 doubles as well, so yeah. All right, for doubles, Rodriguez from Seattle, 19 doubles. David Justice and Edmonds, 18 doubles apiece. Cirillo, Boggs, and Thomas, 17 doubles apiece. Eight triples for Otis Nixon, six for Alex Gonzalez, five for Nomar Garcia Parra. Hey, he got a triple. He steps out from the grouping that he was in for so long. Taking sole possession of third place for triples. <laughs> All right, 29 home runs for Ed Sprague, 26 for Mark McGuire, 21 apiece for Benito Santiago and Carlos Delgado. Ooh, we got a tie in the RBI race. 50 RBIs apiece for Ed Sprague and Mark McGuire, 49 for Joe Carter, 45 for Jim Tomey. Pitching, Juan Guzman, 11 wins with an ERA of 1.206. All right. 79 strikeouts for Johnson, 75 for Facero, and 68 for Andy Pettit. Forty walks apiece for Copinger and Andy Pettit, 38 for Thompson, and 35 apiece for Gordon, Nelson, and Langston. Nine complete games for Juan Guzman. Five shutouts, ten quality starts. For the National League, batting first. Bonds, Grace, and Martin in batting, batting average, 386, 343, and 331 respectively. Eleven stolen bases for Sanders, seven apiece for Bonds and Young. And a whole whack of uh, players with six stolen bases. Bonds, Rodriguez, and Bagwell. <coughs> Pardon me. Slugging percentage. Bonds, Grace, Ballack, Bagwell for on base percentage. Twenty-eight doubles for Blouser. Did he get two? <laughs> uh, it seems like the number just keeps going up and up and up, with the exception of a couple of times we come in here. All right, so twenty-eight doubles for Blouser, eighteen for Bagwell, and seventeen for Joiner. Uh, nothing changed with triples. DeShields and Johnson still with five, and Castillo still with four. Hey, Henry Rodriguez got a home run. 17 home runs for Henry Rodriguez, 15 for Sammy Sosa, and 15 for Barry Bonds. The race heats up. <laughs> and 14 for Walker. I guess that's Larry Walker. Unless, again, I'm getting my names mixed up. And possibly sports. <laughs> 37 RBIs for Rodriguez, 34 for Gant, 32 for Bichette. 25 walks for Ruben Sierra, he's back on top. <laughs> Alright, for pitching, right from Colorado, 8 wins with an ERA of 2.314. <coughs> Pardon me. 
Bielecki leading ERA with a 0 0.397. Nine saves for Shaw, seven apiece for Nen and Ruffin, and six apiece for Urbina, Wallers, and Hoffman. Ninety-three strikeouts for Schmidt, eighty-five for Cordova, eighty-two for Hampton. Let's see who breaks a hundred strikeouts first. <laughs> Eight complete games for Schmidt, three shutouts. Six complete games for Hampton, four for Cordova. Rack now has company with the shutouts, with three apiece between him and Schmidt. Eight quality starts apiece as well. And we got 11 quality starts for Shurik and nine quality starts for Tapani. Then Osborne, Rapp, Schmidt, Hampton, Gardner, and Hamilton with eight quality starts. Alrighty. <coughs> Pardon me. At the end of May 18th, 1997, in the American League West, Seattle Mariners, 22 wins, 21 losses, followed by Oakland Athletics, 22 wins, 22 losses, Texas Rangers, 21 wins, 22 losses, and Anaheim Angels, 14 wins, 28 losses. Cleveland in the Central Division. Cleveland with 27 wins, 16 losses, Kansas City, 25 and 17, Chicago, 19 and 23, Minnesota, 18 and 26, and Milwaukee, 16 and 26. East, Toronto with 39 wins, 4 losses, followed by Baltimore, 28 and 17, Detroit, 19 and 24, New York, 16 and 27, and Boston, 15 and 28. The National League West, Colorado Rockies, 16 wins, 6, <laughs> pardon that, 26 wins, 16 losses. <laughs> San Diego Padres, 23 wins, 18 losses. San Francisco Giants, 15 and 26. Los Angeles Dodgers, 13 and 28. Hey, I got their name right this time. <laughs> In the first try. <laughs> Central Division, St. Louis, 28 wins, 14 losses. Cincinnati, 24 and 19. Chicago, 20 and 22. Pittsburgh, 19 and 25. Houston, 17 and 26. In the East, Mon <laughs> not Montreal. Atlanta 30 and 13, Montreal 25 and 16, New York 22 and 20, Florida 17 and 25, and Philadelphia 16 and 27. Next time on May 19th, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays have the day off. However, as you can see, the Montreal Expos will be hosting the LA Dodgers. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.